By the way, you know, in the when Jesus comes back, okay, he's, go going go to, go he's going to kill all his enemies. When Jesus comes, when Jesus comes back, he's going to kill all of his enemies. Yes. So it wasn't just love your enemy. All those, those who reject him are going to be his enemies, and he's going to massacre them. Whether they are babies, whether they are women, whether they are, they are men, whether they are old, whether they are young, everyone is going to become his footstool. So do not say just the the religion of uh, Christianity is just preaching and Jesus just preached love. No, he's told you the consequences of rejecting him. Yes. Okay. So he said, those who do not believe me, bring them here and kill them. This is more about sending them to hell, isn't it? Not as in how yeah, he's, head. So after he's killing them, he sends them to hell as well. So both. He doesn't need to kill them, though. We can well, he does. He says you should read Revelation, my friend. Read your own Bible. I, again, I'm only 19, so I don't know as much as you do. Are you holding? Oh, I'm telling you, by the way. He's also going to say Islam is such a humble religion to the point that it says, no matter who your name is, you need to love your own people and give them such respect. You know, like with a TFL, he cannot go for dinner to a fellow Muslim's house and ask for the meat and halal. That's how much it's disrespectful. I don't know this. The only killing, look, the only killing that is permitted is in the context of war, in the context of where where you want to protect yourself to protect your family in, in this context is permitted because look if somebody comes and wants to kill your family or rape somebody in your family you're not just going to sit idle are you you're going to protect them you're going to defend them even if it happens to be that killing them or being killed in that situation okay this is what a man does to protect you don't have to be religious to do that even an atheist would do such a thing in, a, in that situation to protect your loved ones is something that is normal it's common yes so what what i'm saying is that but god so loved the world that he gave me you know this guy I, actually they, yeah you tell me about it is it if he's a preacher he's a bad one i, I am Pe a bad one people he's even worse singer trust me Pe <laughs> People will go away from the church, uh, <laughs> not come to the not church. Let me hold, the, hold this phone so I could run off with it. it Did I say that you run off? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a damn lie. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is this. Jesus, he, he was according to, you know, we believe in Jesus as Muslims. We believe he's the Messiah. We believe he's born of the Virgin Mary. We believe that he is one of the mightiest um, uh, messengers who's done great miracles, like bring, bringing people to life, mm. curing the sick, yes, curing the blind. And this is the miracles God did through Jesus. If you read Acts chapter 2 verse 22, it says the same thing. That Jesus is a man accredited by God to do wonders and signs through the man Jesus. Through God, sorry, through Jesus by God. So clearly the Bible advocates that he is a man who is righteous, a man who is accredited by God. But not God. Do, did you ever come across any words in the Bible where Jesus claims to be God? Yeah, he also says, I am the disciples are one. In the same chapter, sorry? No, it's just the way you understand it, how you interpret it. Because you know, in that chapter in John 10 30, when he says, I and the Father are one, what did the Jews do? They wanted to stone him. They wanted to stone him. And when Jesus asked them the question, for what works, good works that I've done that you're stoning me? And what was their response? They said, it is for blasphemy. You being a mere man are claiming to be God. So you see, just like you, just like you, they also understood or rather misunderstood Jesus' message. Because they are also claiming that he is God because he made the statement, my, uh, I and the Father are one. In Islam, the word Christ, generally the word, the true definition of Christ is Messiah. Yeah. The yeah. true definition. So we also refer to Jesus as Jesus Messiah Christ. means Savior. No, it means the anointed one, not Savior. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, going back to the story about Jesus and the Jews, you know what Jesus' response to that was? The response to the allegation of blasphemy. He said that the judges basically is pointing to Psalms 82 6 where he says the judges the kings and the elders of the, uh, the the Jewish people they are called gods by God himself 
and all I say is I am the son of God you you are uh, stoning me for that and you're alleging that I'm saying I'm God I'm paraphrasing here this, so this and at the end he said what I am God's son as soon as he said I'm God's son they understood that in their terminology it means a righteous man a righteous man because you see people are called sons of God in the Bible many places no children Adam is called the son of God in the genealogy of uh, of Jesus the son of God very clear which context and meanings for that yeah so when Jesus said I'm God's son it doesn't mean that literally he's a biological son of God yes because at that time the terminology son of God means a righteous person you see what I mean because there's not a single place where Jesus says in fact Jesus says I by myself can do nothing yes as I hear I obey and my judgment is true all right and Jesus further says I have not come to do my will but the will of the one who sent me so you see he's not even come to do his own will in fact he did not come to earth on his own will he was sent he was commanded to come down here he didn't have to though. But he had to. Because he said he's a servant of the Most High. Jesus is not God. Jesus never claimed to be God. Every single place in the Bible, he's subordinate to God. Yes, he worships God. He fell on his forehead in the Garden of Gethsemane, on the floor, and he prayed to God, worship God. Oh, what was that prayer? He was telling uh, God to take the cup away from him. Yes? So the very objective he came for, which is to die on the cross, the cup here signifies a crucifixion. The very objective he came for, he's saying, take this away from me. Not with my will, but with your will. Because he knew what was coming. Anyone, yeah, but, he's, if he, but if he is God, if he is God, then he, does he pray to God? Does God pray to anyone? He communicates by this way we describe because you don't believe this it's the Trinity, but we believe in the Trinity. Is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? Is the Trinity advocated? No, the concept is a concept in the Bible. It's not there. Because this Trinity doctrine was established in the fourth century. Nearly three hundred years after Jesus. Yeah? Well, Actually, more than 300 years after Jesus. Spirit, Was that? But not God sent the Holy Spirit as a dove. Jesus is the Son of God, and then there's God. That's three persons. Yeah, it says three, but how do you know that they are one? The Trinity doesn't mean three. The Trinity is tri unity. The two words. Tri means three, unity means they're united. How are they united in what? Yeah, yeah, but if it was just, if it was just a spirit, say, I said a spirit, but it's my spirit. What do you mean? I don't understand. I said my spirit onto you, or when my spirit comes. So sending, no, no, sending spirit on him, it means he was given the message through a spirit. Mm. And as, as Muslims believe that the angel Gabriel, he brought the message to all the messengers. That was his job. One of his tasks was to send message, convey the message from God to the messengers. The same messenger, the same Holy Spirit, the same angel Gabriel came to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to give the message of the Quran. The same came to Moses and to David, gave the Psalms of the Zabur. And this is what we believe. So the Spirit came upon Jesus, doesn't mean other than giving the message or convey the message from God to him. Because you see, the Holy Spirit itself doesn't have the ability to speak by itself. Because he says, Jesus says that, that the Spirit will come. I have many things to tell you now, you cannot bear them. But the, the Spirit will come and He'll lead you into all truth. Yes? And He will not speak of His own. He will say what He hears. Can you imagine? God is unable to speak of His own and He needs permission from someone else to speak. Can you imagine this? It's something that you cannot fathom. If you believe in one Almighty God, then that God is independent of anyone. No one tells Him what to do. No one tells Him what to say. No one tells him to come to earth or go anywhere. Yes? He's someone who is basically a sovereign over everything, independent over everything. If you want to know more about it, obviously I don't know as much as you. Yeah. You've read the Bible probably more than I have. No, but you have read these passages, have you not? Yeah, yeah, I have. So you are aware of them? The Bible, yes. Yeah. But you've studied them more than I have. I've Look, I've analyzed what I've read yeah. and I expect that you do the same. Yes. Don't just okay. read it for the sake of reading it. Yeah, yeah, Try I'm to understand 19. it. 
That's fine. And I've only when I was your age, I used to read a lot. Yeah, but well, I've only been a Christian for a few years. <laughs> so obviously my knowledge is... Fair enough, fair enough. It's not as much as your knowledge, yes. Okay, but you'll read it, right? Yeah, yeah. And this time you're going to analyze it as well? Yeah, I will. I will Good. read it more. But he's read it more. And I, I know he's... He doesn't want to talk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he wants to preach his thing. Yeah, he well, comes and shouts in my ear. I know. So, um, <laughs> Very annoying. Tell me about it. Yeah. I'm, I have to be is, is he elder? <laughs> no, no, just a friend. Just a friend. Have you read the Quran? I've read parts of the Quran. I did a mission in Bournemouth. Yeah. And I was talking, I met some Muslim people, uh, friends, and they said, if you want us to read the Bible, why don't you read the Quran? So I started reading it, which is a fair enough. Have you got a copy of the Quran? I have it on my phone, which I don't know if that's... Oh. Would you like a hard copy if you want? I don't take care of you, sir. Look, if... I'll, I'll have a hard copy. I got some literature from the table earlier. Yeah. Oh, did you get the bag already? The... Well, you guys were praying, yeah. and I didn't want to just take the bag, but I got the... Uh, it was a green, green leaf about Jesus. Uh, yeah. big well, we'll give you a small Quran, yeah. but I'm not, I don't want to impose it on you. Yeah. If you want to take it and you're going to read it, then I'll give you one. I think Otherwise, there's no point, isn't it? It's good to know. I'll yes. read it, because it's good to know. Yeah, it's a pocket size, very easy to fit in your bag. It's good to know what you yeah. read. You've read my Bible, why shouldn't I read Absolutely. That's a, and I agree on that's that. The that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Absolutely. You know what else? Like, Islam is such a beautiful religion to the point that it says that no matter how much you sin, even if your sins reach the heavens, there's always room for forgiveness. If you Absolutely, yeah. Always, always. No matter what sins you make. I think we're going there. Yeah. All right. Likewise, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. What was the name again? Sorry. Badly. Badly. Yeah. Badly. yeah. Nice and yeah. Hashim. Hashim, yes. Hashim. All right. We normally go to Speaker's Corner, so if you've got time, you should oh, come down I'm there not, one day. from me. I'm from up oh, north. You're from Northern Ireland? No, no not Northern from Ireland. Scotland. Up north. Up north. Yeah, up near Manchester. Oh, you're from Manchester. Yeah, well, okay. up near that way, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, but thanks for that. No I enjoyed problem. that, you know. Right. And uh, what they said. Peace be upon you, or whatever it is. Yeah, salam alaikum. Like Jesus said. Yeah, yeah. That's how Jesus yeah. said it when he entered the room. Yeah. Remember? So, sorry about that. No Little problem with that guy. Yeah, before, but Did you know I'm him? just trying to keep. No, but you I'm trying him? to keep the peace between you yeah, guys. Fair enough, it fair was enough. getting a bit. Yeah. It's just getting a bit hot, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's just the way he came across. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take care, right. mate. Nice speaking to you. Thanks for your time. Yeah, and uh, um, obey Allah and accept His mercy. This is our purpose of creation. The purpose of creation is worship Allah throughout the world. Mm. This is our purpose. Yeah, worship Allah. And I think, like you said, like the, uh, you say, that guy, he wants to shout repent and like you, said, you, you guys can't say you go and tell. No, 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 the reason we say it is not to ridicule, but more to warn. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah, you're, you're much more wiser than that guy. Yeah. I can tell that. I know. At your age. <laughs> at, at, at my age, if someone says, oh, turn yeah, no, no. you're going to hell. You want to run away from him, yeah, isn't it? Listen. You don't listen to me, absolutely. That, that's not my style. Yeah. My style is more, uh, hello, how are you? I'm just talking. I mean, even Jesus didn't tell someone, you'll go to hell. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Yes. And I think it's very extreme. It is, yeah. And it, it does, it puts a lot of people off. And Maybe you should tell him when he's alone. <laughs> uh, I've told him, but it's... Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. It's, I guess, his, his mindset. But so anyway, I mean, when you when you have time, try to ponder on these questions because you see, at the end of the day, this is not something that is a joke. It is something that is either going to make or break our afterlife. Yes, it's not a joke because you see, this world is temporary. We all are going to die one day. Even if somebody is an atheist, they will believe this fact. This is one fact no one denies that we all are bound to die. Yes, we are bound to perish one day. So what I'm saying is, after we die, there's going to be a day of judgment. Mm. Yes, after we die, yeah. one day there will be a day of judgment. And in, on this day, we'll have to account for our sins and the good deeds that we have done. And this is what God is going to basically ask you on that day, mm. that how have you spent your youth? How have you spent your wealth? How have you spent your time on earth? Yes. And this is something quite fundamental, you see. Mm. We are going to have to prepare in our short journey, in this temporary journey, we have to prepare the answers for that question. We get come. so the issue is yeah. in today's society, we get so submersed in this yeah. world that we live in, we forget about now. everything. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, we no. forget social media. You can't escape from it. It's like the big people, you know, the elite, you know, all of them that, that all has an influence. And as human beings, we can't help it because yeah. we live in this society. But it's your duty to step out of the box and you know control it. Yourself. Just, uh, I suppose I've, all, I've done a bit because obviously uh, I've looked in Bible thought about more. Yeah. I've said got friends who don't God damn here he comes again. Yeah. <laughs> are you trying to drive people away from no, Christ? Because you, you are actually. I'm seeing you on Sunday. You I hope not. <laughs>
Are you in speaker's corner? Yeah, you come. You're not invited. He's <laughs> banned me. I'm staying in the hotel. You're, you're not invited. Tea. I'm drinking tea in the I'll pray for you in the hotel. Good luck. Stay there. <laughs> This book, it's true. The Quran was a miracle. Read, it's a very good book. Okay. It's called a Brother Zachariah, I think. Abu, Abu Zachariah. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, look, you need to really prepare. Because you see, I, I know you're a spiritual person. You believe in God. That's very good. But you see, if you believe in the wrong God, like, like the sister said earlier, every sin of yours, God is able to forgive. The only sin that is not going to forgive is the one where you associate partners with God or you believe in the wrong God and that is what God is not going to do. because you see if you're going to acknowledge and recognize that there is only one God then that God has to be supreme okay that God in the Bible and in the Quran says he does not die he's immortal yes did Jesus die yeah but he rose again well even if you even, even if you die for a microsecond that makes him immortal the fact that he dies for three days and three nights is definitely mortal. Exactly. You see what I mean? So what you need to do is you need to analyze these verses from the Quran and in the Bible that what does God say? Because you see, as human beings, we are unable to know everything about God. It's beyond our, our scope. Yeah, it's beyond our scope, definitely. And that's the whole idea of faith. Yeah. Our minds are, we're actually, we're human, okay? Our minds are too small to comprehend some huge things. We live within space and time. We're going to talk about science. Yeah. We live within we space and time. We don't yeah. So anything beyond space and time is... is so, we, yeah. so we believe in what God has revealed to us. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. So if God told you that he's one, then don't say he's three in one. If God told you that he doesn't die, then don't believe that he died for your sins by his own creation. Can you imagine God dying by his own creation? God is all-powerful. He created that creation. If he wants, he can make them vanish like that. I have a question for you. Yeah. You know in the Bible, um, you know how there's a section, like are you guys allowed to be caught? Huh? Are Christians allowed to be caught? No, yeah. Yeah. Because I, of the, it all goes back to the divisions of John, of the things of John yeah. and all the different meats. Right. I know you guys have, you have different laws on that kind It goes to Paul. Because I know there's a part of the Bible that yeah. says that pork is a forbidden meat, right? Yeah. Actually, the Christian, J Jesus himself did not eat pork because he actually abided by the law of God. Yes? And this is something that you, it's quite fundamental. All the prophets previously did not eat pork. Yeah? So later on, it was Paul who said, Everything is clean and now you can eat. Yes. So, and this is something that you see, Jesus said, anyone who changes a dot it will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who changes even a dot from the law, Paul has changed everything, the whole law. So, anyway, go, going back to you because that is important. You see, your faith and your belief is going to what's going to be held accountable for on the day of judgment. Now you're very young, you're still researching, you're still looking into it. So, now is the time for you. To actually really ponder on these questions and do not go and believe in a religion or in any ideology which is contrary to what God really is if God is all-powerful he cannot die by any of his creation or by anything at all because he is the one who created everything including the devil including Satan cannot harm him because he is also a creation of God yes he is a creation of God like just like you and me so when he was created he wasn't created evil. However, he chose to do evil. He chose to basically transgress. And this is what we human beings also do. We also know that we have been given this free will and we are able to choose right or choose wrong. God has guided you. The reason he's given you these scriptures is to guide you to the goodness and to stay away from the evil. Because he didn't just send you to the world without any guidance. He did give you guidance. In fact, in the Quran, it says every nation has been sent a prophet, a messenger, a warner. So no, no nation on the day of uh, Qiyamah, the day of judgment, can say that we were not sent anyone. No one sent, no one came to us. So everything which gets us to heaven is the mercy of God. Yes. However, God uses our works because he's also just. He doesn't just send everyone to paradise or everyone to hell. Yes. So this is this is something that will help us on the on the day of judgment he will show us our deeds our good deeds and bad deeds yes and that is how you will know your own hands and your feet and your and parts of your body will acknowledge on that day that you have done so and so good deeds and you have done so and so bad deeds your own 
individual parts, your own parts will acknowledge on that day. So this is something you see, this is a testimony against you. you your own body parts are going to be testimony against you on the day of judgment uh -huh. and me and everyone else. Okay. So this is something, but at the end of the day, it is not these deeds which will get you to paradise, but the mercy. If it wasn't for the mercy of God, can you imagine the number of deeds that we do, the bad deeds that we do? How many times a day we'll get uh, punished by God? But because of His mercy, He actually not only not punish us immediately, but He even conceals the bad things that we do. Because you see, if He did not conceal, then all of us today will basically have, uh, will be embarrassed. You know? of the world. Yeah. Anyway, what's the name? Devin. Steven? Devin. De Kevin? Devin. With a D? Yeah, Devin. Okay. You know, like in down south of Cornwall. Oh, no, Devin, Devin. Yeah. All right, Devin, my name's Hashim. Hashim. Nice speaking to you. I think your buddies are here to pick you up. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We don't want to delay them. No problem at all. So, yeah, have a read. Oh, yeah. just uh, one thing. Do you, sure. do you believe uh, Jesus lied, sinned? Actually, I do not believe Jesus is a sinner at all. Okay. Yes, but according to the Bible, okay. I'll show you where he's considered a sinner. Okay. Yeah? What about when he says, I am the way, the truth, and life, no one comes to the Father but by me? That's an absolute truth. You know why? Because Jesus did not say he's a destination. destination yeah. He said he's the way. Exactly. And every messenger, every prophet is the way to that God. And every messenger, every prophet spoke the truth. So if you follow that way and that truth, that will give you eternal life and that is the life Jesus was speaking about. So what Jesus said is absolutely the fact. not belief in Jesus. No, he said, he said, I'm the way. The way to what? The way to God. The way to salvation. He said he was the way, the truth and the life. Yes, he was. No doubt about it. But he did not say I'm the destination, did he? He is the life and without him is the No, no, no. What do you mean he's the life? That doesn't even make sense. He is, if you believe in Jesus, in the true message of Jesus, yes? then you will have eternal life. And that's what he means. Because Jesus never claimed to be God. Jesus said, I by myself can do nothing. John chapter 5 verse 30. Yes, what I hear is, is sorry, what I, I judge as I hear. Because I've not come to do my will, but to do the will of my Father. And in John chapter 20 verse 17, he says, what does he say? Do you believe God has a God? God has a God. Does God have a God? If you believe only one God, does that one God have a God? No. Did Jesus have a God? Jesus was God. But did he have a God? No, he was God. Is that a yes or a no? No? We know? What does he say in John chapter 20 verse 17? My God, my God, right? He's also taken all the No, no, not that one. Another one. In John chapter 20 17, when he says, I go to my father and your father, my God and your God. What does he mean when he says my God? You see, he clearly states that he has a God. Yes, another place in, in the Garden of Gethsemane, when he falls on his forehead, on the floor, and he prays and worships God. Because he was fully man as well. Yeah, but he was fully God as well. Why do you leave that bit out? I agree he was a fully man. In fact, I totally agree with you. But you see, the Christians do not stop there. The Christians believe that he was fully man and fully God. So this fully God and fully man has a God. When he, when he was How can one God have a God? And worship. What does he say? He says, take this cup away from me. Yes? Right. Let it be your will be done, not my will. What does the cup here I, signify? I know, I know in, one, in one part when he, he prays to God, he actually just quotes a psalm. And it's, uh, oh, that's, that's on the cross. When he says, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken yeah. me? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You know who's praying in psalm? David. Yes? That's David's prayer. You know, read that prayer. <laughs> in that David or whoever is praying the prayer, he's saying, I pray to you by day and you do not listen to me. I pray by night and you do not listen, do not hear me. Do you believe Jesus would say such a thing? So if Jesus is actually saying such a thing on the cross, that shows me that this person has lost all faith in God. Because anyone who says, God, why did you forsake me? Why did you abandon me? Can you imagine God abandoning whom? Whom is God, God abandoning here? Is God abandoning, abandoning another God? Then what does it mean that you have abandoned me? The Trinity, if there was anything, it broke. Because one abandoned the other. Now we got two because one is abandoned. It's left away. He turned his back towards him. Yeah, but you see, you see what you have done? You have, you, you have, you have, actually, you have actually fast forwarded to the resurrection while we are speaking about the crucifixion. Let me ask you this. 
Yeah. I've already spoken to him earlier. Oh. Yeah. So imagine this: God Almighty dies by His own creation. Can you imagine that? God, who is the most powerful, who has created everything, including those Romans who are supposed to have killed him, God dying by His very own creation. Yeah. Inshallah. See, this is something that is unfathomable. Do you know what you guys should take a look at? Yeah. 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 I'm just going to go pray. Are you done? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea.